Hello everybody, how you doing today? My name is Nick and welcome to my channel, a place to watch and talk about movies. In this movie reaction is going to be The Brave Little Toaster. This was a top tier Patreon request. I actually already recorded the intro to this. It got deleted, unfortunately. Some For some reason, it's been happening a lot to me, but I will get it fixed soon. Going into this movie, I literally knew nothing except the name Brave Little Toaster. I assumed it was about a toaster. But yeah, pretty much going in blind. Thank you again to the top tier Patreon for picking this movie. If you have fond memories of this movie, I will just say right now, I would advise against watching this reaction. If you want to hear my opinions, then by all means watch it, but I just want to give that quick disclaimer because I don't want anyone to like watch reactions expecting me to love it and then be so sad you know if I don't end up like loving it so just want to give that quick disclaimer before we hop into this movie if you guys do want to see the full reaction to this video or really access my videos you guys can check out my patreon first thing in the description right down below and also special thank you to these patrons who pledge the video credit to above I really appreciate the support and let's just hop into it the brave little toaster Okay, so after looking it up, it seems this is the only place that the movie exists on YouTube, <laughs> and unfortunately there's no caption, so might not be talked as much in this reaction, not sure, <laughs> but this is the first time I've like, seen a Disney movie not on Disney+. Plus. Oh, that's a beautiful melody. <laughs> I know, I expected it to start out kind of like creepy atmosphere. Oh, there's songs in this movie? I mean, I guess I should have expected that from Disney. <laughs> oh, is that the toaster? Okay, okay. I thought they were gonna show the toaster's like face. Mending. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm attempting to get some sleep. Look, buddy, I'm doing a broadcast. Oh, he doesn't even have a face on. You can't even hear your own thoughts around here. See, with all he the has a face. I don't know why. I expected like the toaster at least have a face on the radio. <laughs> it's like they don't have faces. What are you doing? Oh, is that the air conditioner? <laughs> Oh, good, the toaster does have a face. Like, I'm serious, like, that. that's one of my main concerns when I saw the radio. <laughs> he has such a nice smile on his face, too. Haven't you the slightest <laughs> inkling who you're dealing oh, with? Oh, wait, is it a girl? Precisely. A is it total? a guy? I'm sorry if I get the wrong, <laughs> the wrong gender. The same thing we've done for the last 2,000 days. Chores! Chores? It'll be... Aww. <laughs> That's all I have to do. <laughs> Not supposed to be fun. It's work. I don't like to work without the master. Aww. Wait, well, where's the master? Okay. I gotta admit, I don't know why. Like, just from, from the opening scene, it seems like the side characters, I just, I don't, I don't know. They're not, uh, not uh, doing it for me so far. I love the toaster, though. Oh, they're that dirty? Oh, don't they clean it every day? I mean... Okay, <laughs> I thought I thought they cleaned it every day. Quiet! It's the blanket. Wait, what? <laughs> a car. A car. A car. That's it. That's it. All right, a little left, a little more. All right, to the right. Oh no, it's gonna shake off. A little to the middle. I don't know what direction it was in, just a little bit of that. That's just where he has to stay. <laughs> really? They were that far away and he knew they were close? Damn, he's back! That is so gorgeous. I love that. And <laughs> just senior costly changes. Oh, and that's the boy. It's the master. <laughs> Why are you moving? I thought he can't see you like move. Oh wow. That looks spotless. Wait, do they know they're alive? Master. Okay, okay. <laughs> I thought they didn't know like they were like alive. That looks so shiny though. Oh what? Oh he was wrong. Oh wait, how long has it been since they've returned? <laughs> how long has it been since he's returned though? Has it been like over six years that they were talking about like, 2,000 days? Every time, I can't believe it! Every single day, give me that stupid picture! No, no. That's his! Why would he try taking it from him? Right, break down, peaceful mountain cottage, cocky world and What is the radio saying? <laughs> we're like doing. <laughs> It's gonna break. Way to go. I can't believe the vacuum did that. <laughs> like, that's his, like, thing. Oh, 
wind, it's wind inside the house? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is he doing that? What are you laughing at? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. What? <laughs> is he a villain? You guys really have an attachment for that kid, don't you? He sounds so evil, <laughs> just by like his tone. We've been dumped, abandoned. But he loved us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it was the parents' decision, not the kid. Oh yeah? Did you talk to him recently or something? That could drive up any second. You really think so? I'm not talking to you. Why do you have to be so mean to the blanket? I don't get it. <laughs> That's real touching, Toaster. You're gonna get me bawling like a baby any time now. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, he can actually blow them away. So, it's back to that stupid static again. He's so evil, oh my. I'm not an invalid. I was designed to stick in a wall. I like being stuck in this stupid wall. He's going crazy. The kid was too short to reach my dime. Is he gonna explode? <laughs> Shock, he's actually like exploding? I thought he was gonna be like the main villain. I mean, I feel terrible. I thought he honestly was like kind of being mean to them. Maybe he's just trying to warn them in a way. I didn't know he'd take it so hard. Well, he was a jerk anyway. This vacuum. A car. I don't oh, don't go through this again, yeah. Town's real close. Oh, is it actually the kid? Yeah. Oh, oh, their eyes like widen. Oh, they're gonna leave their spot? Oh, so now a new kid's gonna get them. Oh, oh, it's okay. Someone else will move in. But I get it. They want their kid. Stop it! We're going out to find him! What? Wait, they're gonna travel? Wait, how? How are you gonna travel, though? I... I don't know. Oh, come off it. I thought you would have had a plan. <laughs> and scorching deserts in order to get home. I mean, they're probably gonna make it somehow. <laughs> but I feel like that's such a dangerous journey for them especially. Well, I'm going with or without you. I say we stay. We'll have a new master anyway as soon as someone- Wait, he actually wants to stay though? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like most of them will be like, I want to go. <laughs> World War II, the Normandy invasion. And who's there but Lampy to light the way? I love it though, he kind of stands on his own. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna regret this. Yeah! I mean, I gotta be honest, like, I just some parts of this feel like a little bit too kiddish, and I, I know that's weird coming from me <laughs> once again, <laughs> but like, I don't know. Arise, oh magic carpet. <gasps> Please tell me that's gonna work. Dang it. <laughs> I thought that was gonna work. <laughs> Why we need an alternate power source, I Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, Chunko. That was pretty cool <laughs> the way they did that shot. I oh, did they guess have this? It? Is it. Uh -huh. oh, they do. He's just gonna push them on a chair. Won't they go notice though? <laughs> like, that's what I was concerned about. Because <laughs> even in Toy Story and stuff, when they do it, it's like they have to be hidden. Oh, it's just all yellow. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. The way it just opened up there. This score seriously is so good though. The score they played like both times in this movie so far. Why look, Lampy? From here you can see the really big lamp. Wow! Do you think that's a lamp? <laughs> How do you guys expect us to get there if you're fighting all the time? You mean we're not there yet? Oh, <laughs> The way he talks, it's like he's a little kid in the group. Life just filled with ease. You just stay forgiving. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. <laughs> Just by that singing voice, I'm pretty sure it's a girl. <laughs> Let's spread out the blankets and have a picnic. But I'm full of stickers. Well, my bad. What? <laughs> stickers fill you up? Now look here, fellas. Just give me a second and, uh... Whoa, listen to this. It's the top of the ninth. The faces are loaded and... They don't care about that. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Try to get some sleep. Oh wait, is this snowing there? I thought it was... Oh, they... 
This is my Bitch, sleeping space, around. see? And no It's gonna break. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Go Let him sleep with you. Come on. That's a shame. <laughs> like he's a little kid. Hey, what are you blind? That's a line. At, at. It's okay, the toaster will let you sleep with him. Come on. I'm not the master. Why would I'll you snuggle somewhere else? Oh, people are so mean to this kid. <laughs> like that really upsets me. <laughs> I love that night sky, even though the CGI in this movie is like really old. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> I don't know, just some parts of this seem like so kiddish. And like, I'm sorry if it's not just to me at least. Like, just compared to all the other Disney movies I've seen, like, I don't know why. This one feels just like extra kiddish. Cut that out. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, that was good. Oh, <laughs> I guess he likes that. Oh, because they've not seen the reflection before. I mean, if you feel so bad about it, like, you're not going to try to help it in some way? <laughs> you're just going to go away? <laughs> I love the vacuum, actually, now. <laughs> like, he's growing on me a little bit. <laughs> just constantly just having the same kind of face. He's, like, just mad at everything. <laughs> oh, it's picture. It. Give me that. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you still have the picture. <laughs> See, like, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm really not. I just, like, I, I don't understand the point of that scene. <laughs> like, some scenes in Disney movies, like, yeah, they just have kind of scenes with, like, other animals, them talking, interacting with them. But, like, I, I don't know. That felt like nothing really happened. <laughs> they just wanted them for a song, it seemed. But there might be lions in there. Like, if they told them where to go, I feel like that would have been better. If they, like, just told them something. <laughs> something they did not know. <laughs> He's like nice to him here, but you would not even let him sleep with you. <laughs> like, I, I just don't get that. <laughs> oh, is that to get across? Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, it's just a light. Battery's running low. We should give it a rest. Oh no, where are you gonna charge it? How are you supposed to charge it though? Do we have to stop here? Yeah, <laughs> he's like, this is way too creepy. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, no. <laughs> no, it looks like a new pumpkin design. Or just a creepy face in general. Bowling balls! Hey, look! That is so sweet. <laughs> like, that guy, I love him the most, I think. All of a sudden, you're being so darn nice to him all of a sudden. Always normally not nice to him. I got this feeling that I should be nicer to him for a change, you know? And now I feel better. Wow, that's weird. I mean, at least you'd be nice to him now. It's like a warm, toasty feeling inside. Well, yeah, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand that. Yeah, that's it. I remember. The I love this good. <laughs> like, this is amazing. <laughs> Just showing little flashbacks of them interacting with him. That's it. It's over. I'm burned out. 86. To the showers! But then the master put in a brand new bulb. And I just glowed. That's a great moment. Oh. Oh, it's a dream. Who are you? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> There's no way. He has to be alive somehow. There's there's no way they actually killed off the little kid, basically. Oh, if, elect if it strikes that. I feel like that's gonna be so dangerous for him, though. Oh, I thought that was gonna work. I'm shocked. 
<laughs> I am so shocked what just happened. There's no way that the kid with the blanket's dead. Lamps across the nation were switched off for a moment of silence in respect for his act of brain. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Is that true? Is that just something he said to make it feel better? Help me, please! Okay, good. He's up in the tree or something. Oh, he's that Help! high up. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's great. Don't let the tremendous height scare you. Don't say that to him. What you do? Oh, he was so scared. Dang it. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just cut it out, all of you. I only did it so we could be on our way. We're wasting time. You can't just acknowledge you wanted to help him. I was like, why is he spazzing out? Get the cord out What's wrong with his eyes? Oh, it's because of the cord, oh my. Oh, he looks like he's like so perplexed. Oh, I jump. Oh, he's trying to calm him down. Oh. Kirby, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Aw, Toast just so happy <laughs> with the eyes. Ow, so just back off. Don't be angry. Just keep your end. I mean, they were just trying to be nice to you, but I mean, I get it from his perspective, too. <laughs> Dead weight? I'd be better off without you. That's so mean. I can't believe you really said that to them. So, uh, how do we get across this thing, anyway? Well, you need help. <laughs> That's why you need all of them. <laughs> Oh, swing across. Okay. Toaster. What happened to his eyes? It's like he's under a trance or something. Uh, What's wrong with his eyes? Uh, Why does he? Oh, because he was so strong. Oh no way! Now he really is alone. They gotta be okay. <laughs> but like, I mean, it's kind of sad for him because it's like he just said he was fine alone, but he's really not. He just like jumped in really i mean that's actually so sweet though <laughs> cares that much about them he's like i can't leave them behind oh, nice. he, he's honestly the savior in this group <laughs> even though he has like kind of a mean attitude sometimes he definitely is a savior in this group oh he's right behind them why <laughs> uh. i really thought i turned in my warranty that time yeah, until Baggy here showed up. Can he smile? Oh my, oh my. Uh. Oh, sure, right. <laughs> you can't. Wait, why isn't the toaster looking at him? Toaster feels responsible for, like, making them almost fall. Making them fall, <laughs> they actually did fall. How? How what? How could they be worse? They couldn't, I lied. I don't know what they're talking about. It could have been so much worse. Like, there are so many so many possibilities that are so much worse than, like, what happened to them. Come on. Oh, they all just use his... Oh. He looks so exhausted. He's been doing all the work, basically. Ah! He's actually sunk under? Blanky, can you let... What are they doing? Oh, they can't let go. Not scared. So they can't die. <laughs> I honestly thought maybe the vacuum was dead there. <laughs> oh. oh! I thought I heard a radio. A human! Oh, so they're just not gonna talk to him. Oh my, oh my, don't throw them in there. <laughs> what a car. <laughs> he tries that. <laughs> oh, I cute doggy. Ah, uh, good boy, quadruped. You remembered your seatbelt. I just mowing through the trees. <laughs> like he's going so fast. <laughs> oh, does he own that store? Oh good, yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> now they can escape. <laughs> he seems so nice, so that, that's the thing. It's kinda like with Toy Story, you don't realize it until like, you know, it's a movie about talking <laughs> objects. <laughs> 
yes, Mr. St. Peter's is quite so... an amusing fellow, isn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry, he kind of looks creepy to me with his eyes and his mouth like that. <laughs> oh, we just gave him one? Oh, how nice. <laughs> a blender motor? Why, sure, I got a... Aw, oh, dang it, yeah, so he's gone. I could have sworn I left it here just a second ago. Oh, look. look how much he's shaking. Gotta move you guys out of the way. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, like, it literally is kind of like Toy Story, except not with toys, but with, like, objects, appliances. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Aren't you sad a little bit? <laughs> you look so scared. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, haunting music, of course. <laughs> it's too late. We've got to operate. Just try to relax. Wait, did they can operate on him? Oh my, that was a wax. Oh, he does have a face. I thought he didn't have a face. Once again, I'm so sorry. I bet lots of people watching this reaction are like, why aren't you getting into the songs? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, they're not good to me that much. <laughs> So they stay because they're like broken, right? Because most of them seem like they're broken. Oh. <laughs> Just those hands. The missus loved the blender motor. Was wondering if you got some radio tubes too. No, not I mean, actually, I mean, I'm not trying to mean, but like, I guess out of everyone, you'd be the one I'd be like, okay. K Kirby, what should we do? I, uh, I, I don't know. Oh, he actually looks concerned for the first time. Oh, he does. <laughs> That's why his lamp lit up, even though it's not plugged in. <laughs> oh, they're gonna try to scare him. <laughs> no, that worked. Okay, <laughs> I guess that worked. <laughs> oh, they're gonna break out. What if a customer sees them? <laughs> oh, I love the dog drives a monster truck. <laughs> Oh, but he left them all. What? He's gonna be like, what? <laughs> what happened to all my stuff? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Seriously, this view and score? <laughs> oh, this actually is definitely the best part of the movie so far for me. Oh, wait, is that where the master is? I still don't even know. <laughs> like, where is the master? Are they just trying to find him randomly? <laughs> Oh, so that is their new house, and he graduated. That's why they moved away. So he lives in college now. Are you taking enough underwear? Oh no, <laughs> never mind, he's leaving for college. Oh, that's probably Chris. Wait, is that actually gonna be the... Uh... Oh, terrific! Oh, his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, it's new technology. Seriously, the best part of this movie for me, like overall, is the score definitely. Too bad we have to sell it. Oh, and they just missed him. Here it is. Yeah, of course. Oh, even they're alive. Could you tell us how to get yeah. to? Uh... <laughs> As you expect, all all appliances basically be alive. Oh, they just point them. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so they don't really talk. <laughs> But it's locked. Luckily, my war training included interapply. That's so cool. And will be welcomed by the native machinery. Wait, will you? <laughs> like, will you actually? Hiya, pal. He just answers the door? <laughs> like, what if it's a human? Please, feel free to enter. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yep, every summer for as long as I can remember. We'd be running all over this place. Dang it. And if only they stayed there, they would have seen him. Junkyard. They're gonna do something to them. Oh, how do you do? Oh, they want to sew him. No. Oh, you look so sad all the time. Hey, look at Why are you this. looking at him like that? Oh, it's because they want to, like, keep him to themselves. Bill needs you. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Really? You don't gotta tell them that, though. Why? There's no oh. well, though. Oh, okay, so he took the TV with him. Didn't anybody tell you? 
Boy, is he gonna be surprised when he gets back. Don't unplug him. Nancy, el perro y dos agentes del servicio secreto. Dang it, why would you do that? Hey! Yeah, <laughs> good, okay, they saw him. You guys sure did some weird stuff with your furniture. Huh? Oh, he's so gonna see now. Why, I, uh... Those smiles are actually just too creepy. <laughs> like, it's just too much. <laughs> Be delighted. This is not the time or place to hatch. Maybe something's wrong with me, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know. I've never had this before. We're like in a Disney movie. I have not like liked any of the songs so far. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a... S oh, <laughs> they're a projector. <laughs> he knows now that's missing. Well, where's the toaster? Good. <laughs> Good, he remembers. <gasps> You just did that to him? Oh, they're doing it to all that. I love how he actually remembers it though. That's so sweet. <laughs> He's like, where is all this stuff? <laughs> but he actually like remembered it. Oh, we got it to work. I thought it, I thought it like caught on fire almost. <laughs> Wait, what? You repaired it? <laughs> or is it a new unit? I guess you repaired it. That is so sweet. No, no, that place is too expensive. Cheap. We're talking real cheap. Come on, you have to get in. <laughs> Ernie's Bargain Circus, where you ride the Ferris wheel of values for a better tomorrow. He's trying so hard. I hope that somehow <laughs> the boy just is like, okay. <laughs> I feel like maybe he wouldn't just because he's mentioned it so many times and the boy is like not shown any interest. Have you ever heard of this place before? And now he realizes, okay. <laughs> Guess it just took like all those words to make it seem like so good. Go I like when they all vocalize together. See, see like this point has some good, I mean this song has some like good parts in it, but overall still like, I don't know. <laughs> not, not really liking this song. This sure doesn't look like Crazy Earnings' amazing emporium of total bargain madness. Oh, they got the lamp. Oh, they're gonna leave. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought they were actually gonna leave it. Oh. He's gonna see it. We'll all go together. Yeah, that, that. yeah. <laughs> at least you all go together. <laughs> He's gonna save you last minute somehow. I don't get Oh, what'd she pull out? Oh, they could just jumped off? Okay. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm thinking right now, like, okay, it doesn't matter because they can just jump off, right? Okay, I think I got it. Which side? I, I mean, I know he's watching them, but, like, can't they just evade him every time somehow? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. Wow. Okay, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> All right, in the lamp. Hey, Chris. Wait, you can. How are you supposed to go after that? Yeah, you can't. Oh, really? Oh, the toaster is gonna save them all. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess because it's a brave little toaster, yeah. Toaster comes to the rescue. You can't just stand there. Oh, nice. Wait, is the toaster gonna be destroyed? It looks like it's getting so wrangled up. Whew. Would you cool it? Now get down here, you're scaring me to death. Wait, so then the toaster did not make it? How is that possible? Oh, why is he bearing it? Where could I find another toaster like this? Like that? Probably nowhere. Mm. 
That's so great. Aha. Uh -huh. Andy takes them all to college. Oh, <laughs> you should probably close the trunk if you can. Last one to Coney Island is a party pooper. From the starlight roof, high atop the Ritz, we wish our intrepid little friends the best of luck and a fun. There, uh, you're all a bunch of junk. <laughs> okay, buddy, so that was the enemy watching the Brave Little Toaster for the first time. I can already tell this is going to be such a divisive video. I, I don't think I'm going to post this on YouTube. I'm not sure yet. It, it, well, once again, it's not because, like, having bad opinions is wrong or anything. I just know that for most of these animated movies and stuff, it seems like lots of people love my reactions because I love them. You know, I get very attached to them, even though, once again, I am a grown adult and I watch, like, you know, Disney movie, Pixar movies, lots of kid movies, I guess you could say. To me there's a difference between being a movie that appeals to kids and audiences like with most of the Disney movies I've seen even Fantasia to an extent it's like I understood like you know it could appeal to me this movie the first 30 minutes felt very like I, I don't know if it's just me like once again maybe somehow I had mixed like reception going into this and like I wanted to hate it I don't think I did I really don't I you know I don't think I've ever gone into like especially an animated movie going in being like I do not want to like this but the first 30 minutes I, I truly believe I it's like one of the first times I actually did not like the movie. Like I, I honestly was thinking about rating it lower than a five from those first 30 minutes. Now after the first 30 minutes, it picked up a lot for me. It, however, like there were some problems that I, once again, I don't know if like I'm just being nitpicky. There were some things that just I do not enjoy with how they portray the characters in this movie. So I'm just gonna start off with the most important thing for me at least. When when there's a Disney movie and there's characters involved, I assume they're gonna give some characters like the meat of backstory in a way. Like you're gonna get to learn about some characters' backstory, some of them are gonna be emotional. You know, that's what I really love. That, that's what I love about like all these animated movies I watch. Is like it's always a common theme where some of the characters get a bigger spotlight, I guess you could say, but they also just explore these characters so well. And for me, I could not find one character in this that I felt like they actually explored well. You know, with the blanket, I thought it was really nice how they showed his attachment to the boy and like how much he really misses him because he's like the little kid in the group. I like that. They didn't really show, like once again, even when they show the flashback of like the lamp scene with the boy, I thought they might show other flashbacks of like the other toys. You know, showing the memories they created with the boy, showing how important the boy is to them. But it only showed one with the lamp and then the dream one with the toaster, if I'm not mistaken. I really feel like that was a missed opportunity. I feel like they for sure could have shown more flashbacks, like get me more invested in these characters because I honestly want it to be. I feel like out of all the characters, the radio and the lamp were the two where I was like, I didn't connect with Willie at all, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know, like they, they were kind of entertaining, but to me, the blanket, the vacuum and the toaster were definitely the best characters for me that I could get attached to. And even with the vacuum, I was shocked that I liked the vacuum as much as I did because he is kind of snarky and mean to the rest of the group. But at the same time, they actually showed like a development with him. You know, when he's saving them on the bridge and they all drop and he actually jumps in to go save them. It's like, and also when he saves the blanket, like there were certain things he did that just brought to light like his personality in a way. And it was just, it was so nice to me. Like I wish, once again, it's like they did some of these things good with some characters and then other characters I felt like they did basically nothing like character wise you know developing themselves the boy i i once again it's like there, there were good aspects the whole scene with the dumpster at the end i feel like could have been short it's like two minutes honestly like it just kept going back and forth and back and forth sometimes that's good in a movie sometimes i really like that but for this one there was just so many opportunities where like once they jumped off of that conveyor belt i'm like okay like i feel like you can kind of speed this up because you've already established that they can escape pretty easily but i will say i really did love the message of like kind of just how old things, toys, appliances, or whatever can be still very valuable to someone and still be something that someone needs. And I really like that because like even with my experience and stuff, I keep some stuff that like people are like, that's from like 10 years ago. Why are you keeping that? It's like, I don't know. I have fond memories of it. I like it. So I really did enjoy that message. The uh, new group of tech appliances I found were a little bit too much. I, I don't know. Like once again, I liked how they actually kind of were like jealous of the old toys. I thought it was really interesting the route they went with them with like them being jealous of the old toys and them trying to like actually kill them. I thought that was actually like an intriguing plot point in the story and then it kind of just went nowhere in a way because once they were in the dumpster and stuff i knew somehow the kid was gonna like you know be able to actually save them because it, they kept hinting at it throughout the whole movie and then at the end when the toaster kind of made his brave sacrifice i like once again i love how death does not really happen to the main characters in disney movies in this one i feel like that honestly would have propelled it a lot for me just him being the actual sacrifice letting his other friends live in a way also some little things like with the um i forget what his name was but when he went to the shop he was looking for the radio and then the radio like they all moved i don't know like small things like that like one thing i love about toy story movies i am gonna be doing rewatches of the toy story franchise because i have not seen them in a while but from my memory at least 
it seemed like most of the time in Toy Story, or probably all the time, from my recollection at least, whenever Andy or someone else came back, the toys would always go back to their original position. And I like that, because it did not really make me feel like it was just so fictional. It made me feel kind of related to it in a way. Like if I walk in, all my toys just like playing around, and then they're just gonna go right back to their exact same position when I walk in the door. It's like, that was a real question I had when watching those movies. With this one, it's like he comes back, they're all gone, and then he finds them two seconds later. It's like, couldn't you just have shown them in the box, and then he grabs them, and then they save the radio? Like, like, just small moments like that. I wish they just, they handled it a little bit better. But also the songs, I know some people are gonna get really mad at me about this. Probably some people thought I would really enjoy the songs in this. I, I, to be honest, from my perspective, it's like, I don't know how I would enjoy these songs per se, just because, from my understanding at least, and just knowing myself, I know I like kind of popish music and stuff like you know Tarzan, Brother Bear, Mulan I mentioned it's some of my favorite soundtracks I've listened to because the songs themselves are very catchy and I also just love the voice who sings them like if I don't like the voice with the song it's probably not going to do it for me most of these songs I did not really enjoy the voices to be honest that much and also just the beat none of them were really like catchy it was kind of like just that dark tone like voice <laughs> kind of thing for some of them the uh, car one was pretty good when they like sang in chorus but once again just overall I'm sorry I, I did not connect with the songs in this one and I'm not trying to make this like a huge negative review I'm really not just whenever someone requests a movie from me or something especially top tier patreon I try to like it just like I like all the other movies sometimes it's a miss you know and some patrons realize that some of the top tier patrons realize they're requesting movies that maybe I won't like but I gotta admit this one I, I have a feeling that the top tier patron was like 99% confident I was gonna love this and well once again they were good parts here and there but overall and once again like it may be me just kind of being biased towards the characters because like once again I I do not connect with mainly any of the characters and that's like kind of a big deal with me and once again I'm really not trying to be mean to it I'm just trying to be as honest as I can because I feel like some people are not gonna get like all my points that's why I try to explain some of them here but overall I probably give it a six to be honest one of the least enjoyable Disney movies for me, I definitely am happy I watched it though. Like if someone told me like, hey, did you like watching The Brave Little Toaster? I liked it. Did I love it? No. If I rewatched this movie, I would skip probably a good amount of it, I think. I, there's some scenes I would want to watch again, but you know, once again, there was no emotional scenes for me really. The most emotional parts were when 